best of the rest of the news. Don't eat the turkey. Giant transnational agribiz corporation Cargill announced yesterday that it's recalling 36 million pounds of contaminated ground turkey that has killed at least one person and sickened 76 others across 26 states. Cargill is just now announcing the recall, even though the outbreak started back in March. Coincidentally, out in, back in June, House Republicans passed legislation that gutted the federal food safety budget, slashing $87 million from the FDA and another $35 million from the USDA's food safety inspection program. As Republican Congressman Jack Kingston said in defending the bill, the food supply in America is very safe because the private sector polices itself. Right. Go tell that to the family of the person who died or scores sickened from Cargill's contaminated turkey. Or tell it to the other 50 million Americans who get sick from foodborne illness every year, the other 3,000 Americans who die every year because of contaminated food. So isn't this a wake-up call? Isn't the idea of food producers policing themselves just as absurd as the idea of Wall Street or big oil policing themselves? Here to throw his two cents into the debate is Seton Motley, president of Less Government. Seton, welcome back. Thank you, sir. Good to see you. Although with uh, this show, I'll need change. Yeah. You'll need what? Change. Change? From my two cents. From your two cents, I see. All right. Well, I don't think I have a penny with me. But. <laughs> uh, why do you hate poor people who have access to food? Okay, first of all, your numbers are fraudulent because the people that get sick and die from uh, the, the, the numbers you gave are very few of them actually come from store-bought food, grocery store-bought food. They come from restaurants. They come from personally mishandled food. That's the vast majority of that number. The, the personally mishandled food actually is people bring home things from the, from the supermarket I leave that, it have, out. that have no, that or, have And they leave it out. They, they leave it out of the fridge. They get too their long. hands on it. They they don't clean their knives. That's like a, that's that. a it small be percentage from the supermarket. Though. No, no, no. It doesn't come from the supermarket. It comes from the supermarket clean, and then they leave it out on the counter too long. They don't refrigerate oh, do you it think properly. Bacteria just come from nowhere. Well, no, when you leave chicken out on the counter, you're going to get salmonella, regardless Only of what. Only if it had salmonella to be. That's not true. That's salmonella does, true. is 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 not ubiquitous. Yes. It doesn't just exist on everybody's yes. kitchen counter. If you leave chicken out, okay. Why don't you go home tonight, buy some chicken, leave it out overnight. In this heat, and then eat it tomorrow, and tell me if you get salmonella. No, the simple fact is, if you were to take a chicken that was not infected with salmonella, take it home, slaughter it, set the pieces on your kitchen counter, assuming that there's no salmonella. There's no, salmonella. Are you arguing Van Leeuwenhoek's spontaneous generation? No. Theory, it, it, that, that if you if you take a box and you put straw in it and you set it aside for five days in the dark, mice will appear. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was 1731. Where? where? Where do you think it comes from? If Salmonella is a bacteria. It comes from, from meiosis. It comes from, my, my, yeah, not mitosis, meiosis. It comes from cellular division. Yes. It, it requires another salmonella to become more salmonella. And it, where do you think it originally comes from? You sound just like Darwin with the origin of species when he can't explain the origin of species. It, it comes from it, 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 infected it, chickens. Yes, and how does it get infected? By, by, ah, by, by being out too long, which means no, it can be left out on the counter. No, not being out too long. It's, Tom, you don't know what you're talking about. It's from a factory about. farm. You it's don't know what you're talking they're, about. They're shooting them all up with bacteria, and now we're, we are, I absolutely do know okay, what you're talking about. Okay, let's and, talk and about and the cargo. Let's talk, 30 no, points. let's talk about the externalities and the internalities what's, what, and, and internalizing profits. What's going on here is these corporations are saying, we're going to totally externalize. Was it inspected we're by the totally FDA? totally externalize our, our, wait, our cost. Wait, 36 the full economic cost to the United States. Tom? Seton, wait. The full economic cost of the United States is $152 billion a year. This is people getting sick, people lose, losing work, people showing up in the hospitals. Two million of that. The only solution is Two to stop million cases eating, are reported each year. The only no, what these eating. guys are doing is they're saying, we're not going to pay the health cost of this. We're not going to pay any of the costs of this. We're going to let you guys Tom, pay for first it. Of all, these it's are, time they're, to they're recover gonna, these externalities. They're going to pay for this. Second of all, they are not 36 pay million pounds. Okay, well, you know what this speaks to? This speaks What's to that? the utter failure of the FDA. 36 so you want stronger regulation? No, I, the, the FDA stinks. This I is not the FDA, by the way. This is the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Okay, fine. The Department of Agriculture had access to 36 million pounds of bad turkey, and they didn't catch it. And they have 5,000. 600 inspectors. And they didn't catch it. 36 million pounds. 600 inspectors. 36 million pounds. Every, they missed it. For the entire United they States. Missed, they missed 36 million pounds. You're telling me no agriculture inspector had access to any of the 36 million pounds of turkey. So you're arguing that we should be more aggressive in our No, I'm process. arguing that we need government out of it because they stink at doing everything and they just proven this with this 36 million pounds of turkey that with the inspections they can't inspect the turkey properly. Please, please identify for me then since you know, all the countries of Europe have the equivalent of the USDA. Canada does. We do. Waste please, of money, but go please, ahead. Please identify for me the libertarian paradise that you'd like to go live in where they have no food inspection 
and we can all go we can go vacationary okay. together and know that all the food that we're not going to get diarrhea from the well food. clearly we have this huge fda and the department of agriculture Please, had all these the numbers libertarian paradise that country well, what is it somalia that's a libertarian paradise there's Look, the government. How about the Democratic Republic of Congo? Would you let me talk, please? How about Burma? Would you like me to be a guest, or you just want to spontaneously combust all by I yourself? Just, I just want to know the libertarian paradise you want to okay. model America on. We spent, we waste all this money on the FDA and the Department One of. Country. Would you let me talk, please? They waste all this money on the Department of. I'm Agri not even asking for two countries. Would you shut up? <laughs> One country. <laughs> We, we waste all this money on the FDA. They don't catch the they don't catch the disease, and then the cargo company is going to pay for it. Or we right, cannot so waste, more wait, wait. Or we cannot. Want to would you let me talk, please? Would you not like to have me as a guest? Because I can go home and you can talk to yourself. Feel free. We either waste the money on the FDA, and people get sick, and then and the companies pay for the disease, which cargo is going to do. Or we cannot waste the money on the FDA, and when people get sick, cargo will pay for the people, and we can cut out the wasteful okay. government and all the FDA and okay. all that so water agriculture. So, so, in summary, because we're out of time, it sounds to me like what you're saying is that your solution is people, less government. Pe people get sick, and then companies the companies pay, pay for it. Yes. Okay. Which, is, it. which is going to happen okay. with or without the FDA? My, my preference would be preventing people from getting. Which sick is obviously in the first not place. working with the FDA and the Department well, of Agriculture. Actually, you it's know, I've thinking been in a lot out of loud like every government. Don't have FDAs, and I've gotten quite sick in several of them. I've well, they're lacking that. a lot more than that, like clean water. Good, good to see you, Seton. I'm good still, to see you. Still waiting to hear that one country that. You well, there's not. There's too much America. big government all over the world. Yeah. yeah right. Okay, Seton, thank you. Uh, what Republicans don't understand is, unlike millionaires and billionaires who fund the Tea Party and push for libertarian legislation that does away with food safety, the rest of us can't afford food tasters to make sure what we're about to eat is actually safe. In fact, let me continue on this. The, the, uh, this is a map that, uh, from the U.S. Department of Agriculture that shows something called food deserts. This goes beyond food safety. There's a, there's a much larger issue of food here. The food deserts are, uh, let, let's just focus over here. Food deserts are places where basically you can't get real food. You can only get processed food. You can basically just get junk food. You wonder why we have an obesity problem in the United States. And if, if, a, a study was done at the University of Washington that found that just introducing enough potassium into the diet through, through eating potassium rich foods, things like salmon, um, just introducing enough pot potassium adds $350 a year to food expenses. So you've got poor people who just can't afford to do it. It's more expensive, it turns out, to eat good food than to eat junk and processed food. Thus, we have these food deserts that I was pointing out. And you zoom in, you can find these on the USDA website. You can zoom in and see that even in here in Washington, D.C., there are several food deserts. Access to good and safe food, like to health care, frankly, in my opinion, should not be something that is that is uh, optional. It should be a basic human right. It's something that we should all be participating in, we should all be paying for, and we should all be making happen. We don't want America to become like Somalia. Uh, but frankly, to do that would require a we mentality for America rather than the me kind of richy rich society uh, that the libertarians are always advocating. But I think that increasingly Americans are getting it. As they, say, as they see the we society chipped away by libertarians who say, no, no, just me, 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 me that it's really not a good way to govern.